class, how you doing, how you doing? So my name is Marquis Bradshaw, teacher, uh, instructor, and I wanted to talk about reselling. So I've been reselling for 10 years now. I've been doing it since I was a teenager and schools and everything. So I've been reselling for a long time. I kind of know the game. I kind of know, you know, the strategies, the techniques of, you know, what to sell, which products sell the best, or which products are sold for me the best, you know. So I have sold on apps like Macari. So on apps like Macari, also Poshmark, eBay, also Etsy, you know, you can, Etsy is, you know, you can sell like handmade stuff, you know, I've, sold, I've taken handmade items and resold it on Etsy. So, yeah, so with like that, it's, uh, it's mostly, you know, like, re so I re resell used products. And also, if I'm at like a Walmart or something, I'll get like even something new. And it's just, you know, reseller, you know, retail arbitrage. So I'll do that. And I've been successful with it for 10 years. Uh, right now, uh, I'm a verified seller on Macari. So I kind of know the game just a little bit. Um, I've been successful with it. And I'm just here, you know, just to share some knowledge, share some information. And also, for with reselling, it's just really about being consistent. Well, you have to be consistent. And we're going to go in, into depth about that as well. But I've been doing that. So I wanted to talk about, one thing I want to talk about is labeling. This is the first thing. I want to talk about labeling. So what I do is I go to a print shop or a library. One of those two things. So at the print shop is twenty cents, and this is in North Carolina. It's twenty cents for one each copy of a label. So what I do is I don't have the Dynamo printer or Dynamo printer. I forgot how you say it. Um, so I get just regular printer paper, and it has the label on it. I print the label out, and Macari gives you the shipping label. You print it out, and then you just it's the label. It's the when you ship it off to wherever. Is gonna go in the world to any whatever customer that that bought from you on Macari. So I have the label, and I tape it up to the box. Let's say I'm selling shoes. I have sneakers, and I'll tape it to the box. And the label is gonna it's a prepaid label. You get it from the post, the print shop, or the post or the maybe at the post office too. I'm not sure about that. I don't know if you can get it from the post office as well, but. I never tried it, but the library, I get it from the library. The library is 40 cents. So right now the print shop where I'm at is they moved. So I have to go to the library now for 40 cents. So now I have to pay an extra 20 cents. So I take that for 40 cents, you know, get the label, everything, slap it on the box, and I take it to USPS. I use USPS, it's just, it's convenient, it's easy, it's, it's easy to me. And their prices are a little lower too as well. So I ship with USPS. So labeling, you know, we got that covered. You know, I use printer paper, and you know, I don't have the uh, stick form. I don't do the stick form um, labels, but I am going to do that. I'm going to invest in that. I'm just doing it. I've just been lazy. I never invested in it. I've just been like, you know, I'm going to use this because it's been working. You know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But I've been using that strategy ever for a while, a long time. So I did that. I do that. And I'll take it to USPS. On my car, you have the options to choose, but you know, USPS is just, it's the easiest, it's most convenient, you know, so I do that. And I, I've been using, I've been successful with it. I only had like three returns so far. I've sold lots of items, I only had three returns, so I think it's a good, really, really, really good thing for me. And with USPS, uh, it it tends to ship within three days, you know, so the customer tends to really, you know, they really get the, uh, their package very quick. So it's just USPS is very great. So what I'm going to talk about now is also product, the products that I buy. You know, I get products like Nike t-shirts. Um, t-shirts really are just better, you know, I can, you can scale uh, with those. 
Um, they're just really, really good. They're easy. It's so easy. You can buy a $2 shirt and you can resell it for $30, $40. You can sell it for even higher than that. I just don't do it because I want to give you the lowest price as possible, but still make a profit. So I do with it, like, let's say a Nike t-shirt. So I'll get a $2 Nike t-shirt from a thrift store and I'll resell it for $30, $20. You know, I, I've been successful with that. So I stick to t-shirts. I stick to definitely t-shirts. That's the number one thing. I also go with shoes because I love shoes. So I know the shoe industry well. I would say I used to be a sneaker collector, but not really anymore. I slowed down on that after high school. So I've taken sneakers and I resell them. So let's say we're having a goodwill. So sneakers are like really five. The shoes are really like five dollars. I'll take five dollars shoes and resell them for like thirty, forty, fifty, sometimes even higher than that. And they've been successful. And you can do the same thing with t-shirts. Same thing with t-shirts. And I've been successful with those products. So something like that what is really great for a beginner because I know you have shoes at your house. I know you have t-shirts that you obviously don't wear, you know, so that'll be an easy flip for you. I will, if you are into, you know, like home appliances, maybe, you know, collectible items, vintage items, those sell too. I've been successful with that as well. I've been successful with vinyl albums. Like I had a Beck, a Beck, um, the artist Beck album. I had the album for, I bought the album for 40 cents, 40, no, 50 cents. At a thrift store, and I sold it for like fourteen, fifteen dollars, like fourteen to fifteen dollars. So, off of a fifty cent product. So, reselling is a very, very great. It's a very, very great place. It's a, it's a, it's the easiest thing to me because it's just like you have the product in your house. It's the first put. I mean, it's just the best thing since sliced bread, you know. So I've been successful with reselling, so I wanted to give you these tips. I want you to be consistent when it comes to reselling. Always be consistent. Because the more consistent you get, you know, the apps that you're selling on, they're gonna acknowledge it. I have I'm a verified seller on Macari. And I've been doing well with well with Macari. I've been successful with Macari. So I use that app the most and I'm a verified seller, so it's been, you know, it's been helpful in my favor. And also, now eBay is is good, of course. You know, eBay, eBay has been around for a long time. Poshmark is good. Depop is good. You know, uh, also, you know, like Facebook Marketplace, Let Go, apps like those, you know, Let Go and Offer Up, you know, you have to meet in person. Um, I used to do that, but I stopped doing that. You know, well, when we have the COVID-19 going on, but I kind of stopped on that. And, you know, you have more uh, apps like ThreadUp, you know, Gray Old, you know, StockX, but StockX is for, you know, reselling new item, new shoes, and, you know, new items as well. But, you know, those are, you know, what I wanted to talk about really, uh, the apps and, but you have to be consistent with it. I will also promote my products. I don't really do as much promoting as I should because usually the app just take care of, takes care of it. You know, customers will usually come back to your product, you know, once they've searched for something similar, like let's say you have Nike shoes, still type Nike shoes and your listing may appear and they'll see it and they may be interested and they'll buy it. So I don't do as much promoting as I should, but you should promote your products. I have promoted products definitely and made sales, but you should definitely promote your products. Um, I would definitely recommend promote your, promoting your products. It's a good thing, it's a must. And also I would recommend just Starting off small, don't go too large yet. Don't buy like there's a lot of inventory. Don't take a whole bunch of money and just go buy a lot of things that you believe will sell. Save that money. Take like twenty dollars into a thrift shop and go nuts, go crazy. Buy the the least amount of shirts. Buy lots of shirts 
for a small price. You don't need much money when going to a thrift shop because you want to double your money, you want to triple your money. So that's the, you know, that's what I wanted to talk about. And I'm going to be back with more videos, but reselling is very, very easy and I would love for you to get into this field. Thank you for joining my class.